Good morning. Um, start of day six, I'm just leaving Millicent for not a big day. It's only a 52K, I think. 49, 50, 52Ks or something like that to Mount Gambia, which is a, which is a sort of a key waypoint. So it's raining today, but I sort of come to expect the rain on and off. It's got a, the rain's a sort of bark a little bit bigger than the bike. I mean, not all the weather say rain and you get a bit sort of concerned about it, but it seems to be, you know, one mil here or one mil there. So with all the wet weather gear, it's not really a drama, but it's a little bit chilly, a bit windy. But <laughs> no matter what the conditions this morning, it's only 50k, so I'll handle it. So yesterday, as that video I tested to last night, there's one out of a box with really strong winds and a straight line. So, um, you know, the weather gods uh, turn it on yesterday. I didn't get away scot-free though. I stopped somewhere to uh, take a video and I came across a rare event, a concrete table. They advertise it on the road, but it never seems to be a table, but there was a table. So I stopped to just have something to eat and take a video and I let the bike on the table, against the table. And then the wind knocked it over. Not a problem, it happens quite a lot. It lands on the panniers on the side, so no issue. So when I left, I picked it up and I went to sort of get on right away and the front wheel wouldn't turn. I said, what the hell? And for a moment I thought the front fork had collapsed on the tire, but it wasn't that. <coughs> but what did happen was the bike fell on the concrete table and bent the front rotor significantly like the rotors on our car so you know five six mil thick on the on the bikes there front road is probably two mil two and a half mil or something so it's a very delicate piece of material and anyway, it was bent badly and um it was seized it was seized in the caliper with the pads it, it was bent so badly i couldn't turn it now this is a problem i thought what can i do so fortunately I had the tools, and if necessary, I would have had to take the disc off the front and just go without a brake. But anyway, I managed to, <coughs> I managed to, um, with a really good pair of stainless steel Letterman pliers, it took me about half an hour, but I, I bent the rotor, bent it, bent it, bent it, bent it, finally got it working, slight, a slight, uh, a slight tucking, but I got it working, so that was a, that was a big win. So I got on here today and started to rain, and I had the GPS set for um, a caravan park and around the corner I come into town, it was raining, fully intent to go in the caravan park and then up in front of me comes one of these country motels. I said, oh, I do, I don't know, and of course I did. And had a pleasant night and meal in a country motel. The other thing about yesterday I didn't find, I was getting concerned that the, um, I was getting concerned that my phone wasn't charging just wasn't charging that's a really good charge on that dynamo hub so then i realized when the bike fell over it also broke the it, it broke the the terminal on off uh, a removable terminal on the front hub so i couldn't charge my phone which wasn't a serious issue yesterday because i was in town but the more serious issue was that it drives my big powerful light at the front and it, it, it wouldn't run that so so this morning i woke up and that's a bit of a tricky one to mend a in the terminal but I managed to get a little bit of um, little, those little aluminium things on bandages the double spike thing when you wrap the bandage around your foot or whatever else and you spike that sort of thing so I got one of them I cut that down fashion it down and made a new little terminal which worked a treat so I'm back in business anyway not talking I'm off I'll check back later today catch up